Welcome to Anderson Penn Sunday Brunch Menu 14 for Sunday, August 14, 2022. Surprise, we have Steph here today. Welcome. Why, thank you. It's, it's good to be here. So nice to have you here for brunch. We've actually been to brunch together. It's true. On a few occasions. Mm-hmm. Are there eggs benedicts this time? Well, <laughs> that is usually what we order. And in fact, we, we, we generally order a lot of it, don't we? The last yeah. time we went to brunch, we went to Sap, which is a nice place here in Appleton. And they had, I think, three special eggs benedicts. And we and could not choose to I save said, our lives. Let's just order all three. And... Split them. And so that's what we did. I have never in my entire life eaten too many eggs benedicts. And I'm not going to say that we've started, but... Yeah. No, I would do that again. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I have no regrets. However, that was almost too many eggs benedicts. Almost. But it was only three. You usually get two. And Uh, we had to try them all for science. Yes, we had to. I forget what they were. There was one chorizo. Mm -hmm. And then there was one I didn't care for much. Did it Mm -hmm. have fish on it? Traditional salmon, ham, I think. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah, like yeah. The you didn't care for the smoked salmon one as much. Yeah, but that's my favorite, so it balances out. I think I like the regular. The traditional was was my favorite that day. Anyway, welcome to Sunday brunch. So nice to have you here. Of course, Brian cannot be here. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. I wanted to remind everyone that today, August fourteenth, is the day that my Home Depot credit card is due. But to be fair, <laughs> it's due on the fourteenth of every month. <laughs> Uh, perhaps more importantly, to, uh, Tuesday, August 16th, that's this coming Tuesday, is National Tell-A-Joke Day. <gasps> ho, 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 ho. I've been training for this day for years. <laughs> I can't believe Brian's not here. He'll, he'll be here for that Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, good. And then good. we'll see what happens. Humor is an important part of any culture. Laughing together makes us feel closer. The best way to share something funny is with a joke. So have some fun. Try a pun or a knock-knock joke or a one-liner. I have a pun for you. <gasps> Why did the cookie cry? Why did the cookie cry? Because his father was away for her so long. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. It required more processing power than it should have. (laughs) Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls. Owls who? They sure do. (laughs) (laughs) I got it just as soon as I said it. (laughs) And uh, uh, one-liners. My fake plants died because I did not pretend to water them. That reminds me of a funny story. <laughs> reminds me of a funny story. I haven't slept for a week because that would be too long. That would be too long. Uh, both of the one-liners, of course, came from uh, Mitch Hedberg, uh, late uh, great comedian. At this point, we usually talk about wristwatches. Do you have a wristwatch? I can watch my wrist. Okay. Put your wrist out here and I'll show. I, I have oh. Mickey today. Oh, fabulous. Um, he tells the time. Unless he's on camera, then he won't tell the time. Absolutely won't. Did he not do that in, in rehearsal? I saw you do it twice when we were before before it's the camera were on. Thirty. <laughs> there you go. And now anyway. I'm talking over him. I'm sorry, Mickey. That <laughs> was very right. rude That's of me. Right. So I still have my Apple Watch, and Brian is not here to wow us with whatever uh, watch he has. Um, I usually do this, but I'm going to let you do. Uh, remind Ooh. everyone to do that and do that. If you guys would all be so kind as to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you already haven't, that would bring us great joy. Great joy. Mm-hmm. You heard it from Steph. Did you bring a joke? I did. Okay. I did. I am S- prepared. It's Let's even go for pen it. related. Okay, go. Why do nurses carry red pens at work? Why? In case they need to draw blood. <sighs> as in, oh, I get it. I get it. Or are they going to use the pen to... Uh, never mind. Draw. Those are okay, you want, you want something pen-related. Where does Dracula buy his pencils? I don't know. Pennsylvania. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. I didn't care for that one too much. Here's the one I brought for you, because I think oh. you might enjoy it. What do you call a pair of crows? Oh, I do like crows. What do you call a pair of crows? Attempted murder. <laughs> well, I figured you'd like that one. <laughs> It involves both crows and mass nouns, some of my favorite things in the world. Did you bring a pen to share? I did. I have another joke, too. Okay. Uh, that, we'll do another one at the end. Oh, okay. I'd so better save it then. Yeah, save it. See, unless, I'm new. I'm new to this If it's your last one, thing. then we save it. Bruncher in training over here, <laughs> if you will all bear with me. I do have a pen, though. It looks like... Okay. What is this pen? It is a vintage pen. A vintage pen. Over yes. here. Oh, I have yeah. to put it right here so everybody can see it. Yes, a writing sample. 
oh, made this with is that my pen. Okay. vintage Schaefer snorkel. It actually belonged to my grandmother. Oh. And I inherited that a couple years ago, and it was not working, and nobody in my family knew what to do with it. And I said, I know a guy. I know a guy. And Brian has kindly restored it for me, and it's one of my favorite pens. It- Funny you should bring a snorkel because today we were going, Brian was going to show me and the entire audience how to repair a Schaefer snorkel. Ah. Um, but I'll have then to watch that one. He got called away. And so uh, we'll be doing that next time. In the meantime, we get to see that he actually knows how to do this. Yes, I was going to say, that brought proof positive that Brian does, in fact, know what he will be talking about next brunch. How does the cap come off of that? That one is a screw. Good, good on you for asking. Oh, lovely nib. It's one of those wrap around. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to scribble with it. Scribble away. Scribble, scribble. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, it currently is inked up with Schaefer Retro Sunset, which I thought was, I mean, uh, of course I had to use one of the new Schaefer bottles that have the little nest for the, the oh, snorkel nice. fillers. I was so smooth excited. Smooth nib on that. Yeah, yeah, it's very smooth. I and, and so you you extended the snorkel, as it were, uh, yes. to fill it? or I, did I guess I, so. I extended the snorkel. I will not do it in real life because I would probably shoot ink all over you. and Over the paper. That would be hilarious, but probably. So you, you, but you filled it yourself. Yes, yes, I did fill it myself. I untwisted the little end. And the snorkel came out. And the snorkel came right. out. So he repaired it quite nicely. Yes, and even taught me how to use it, which was good, because if I had done exactly what I had thought I should do, you know, you use a piston filler and you think, oh, I dip it in the ink and then pull it back and then take it out and then close it up. I seem to recall that I would have accidentally squirted ink at somebody. Or, or purposely. Or purposely. You never know. You never know. Well, I can do that anyways. Uh, it was very nice, very nice. I brought a writing Ooh. instrument that is not a pen. Indeed, I was looking at that before and thought I'd better not touch that because it looks dangerous. You can touch it. You can touch it. It's a Caveco uh, pencil. Uh, I believe it was called a sketching pencil or is called a sketching pencil. That's, That's where it massive happens. ink, uh, ink, <laughs> massive uh, size of this uh, lead in here. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. had this, I would say, at least a decade, so long that I no longer remember what it's called. I know it's a Caveco. I, I thought it was an op art uh, sketching pencil, but I cannot find this anywhere on the internet. Maybe uh, one of our viewers has one and knows what this is. Yes. I, I don't like it when I have have had a pen so long I can't remember what it what it was. But if you would like to write with it. I would love um, to write with it. I want to shade something. Draw a circle. Oh, she's an artist. Hardly. Uh, I got it because uh, I, I I'm no good at drawing. Uh, but it makes me feel like I could draw something if I wanted to. Oh, it has uh, been a long time since I did this. In the meantime, uh, Steph's going to draw a, a circle with some shading. I'm, Where's your light source? Uh, it must it's be over from your here. hand, yeah. It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Choosing our actual light source. Oh my goodness, this is going to take forever. Yeah, we can just speed through this. In fact, you could probably abandon it. I, I could. I could, but I'm but committed see, it to it work. now. It's going it to be work. a hack job, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, we there we go. We sell Shading. this on eBay afterwards, can't we? I'd better... I'd better... Oh, look. Yeah, there we go. Uh, That's what I used to do all over my notebooks in middle school. <sighs> um, you take your pen, and I'll take my pencil. All right. So, uh, but that's a Caveco something. A Caveco... And, you know, I think I got it somewhere in Europe, which makes it even more difficult to track it down. Um, but I did do, spend a little time searching for it online and could not find a picture of it to save my life. So Yeah, I wonder if they'd call it a skyline or if it's something maybe, some maybe special it's a edition. Skyline. Yeah. It's maybe size, one of but... our audience members knows because they have one, they came in different colors. Uh, so there's probably three. Somebody has all three and says, oh, Eric, come on, this is a... Please do tell me. Let yes, me know what I have us. here. <laughs> help Eric know about his pencil. I have a treat for you now. Oh, I like treats. This is a quiz. Generally speaking, I quiz uh, Brian. I give him three questions. He has to get two of the three correct so that someone wins my most recent ink of the week, a sample of my most 
recent ink of the week. This uh, is Diamine Sunshine Yellow, and today we're playing to give this away to Brian, since he is not here to argue with that. Ah. <laughs> Lucky you, him. Uh, do you think you're ready for this? All right, let's do this. I you, love you, pop quizzes. You only have to get three of these right in order for Brian to win what is really his own ink. <laughs> Question number one. Stakes on the Anderson Penn's YouTube channel, we recently published a video called Steph's Top Three Vacation Pens. You, oh, no. You might be familiar with this. Can you, this is funny, but it's possible you won't get this right. Can you name all three of the pens you chose? For your oh. vacation. <laughs> oh, this would be hilarious. I know one was my vanishing point. Yes. And that was your matte black. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. So terrible to be put on the spot like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't warn me, because I, I would have I would have cheated. Now I'm now I'm panicking. I know I, I know I know the answers to this. Yeah, don't Did I panic. bring my Kaku You had two though? pilots, so Oh no, I brought a varsity because yeah, I didn't yeah. want to worry about losing my uh, which whole was entire brilliant. pen case. Was brilliant, by the way. Mm -hmm. In case they steal it in airport security because it contains more than three ounces of ink or something. I'd like to see that pen. <gasps> oh, and that reminds me of my last pen, which was a Twisby 580 in Iris. Very good, very good. She which I, I'm going to have choices. to check the ink capacity on that one to see if we can get it through airport security. That would have been something I have never consider. been questioned about the ink capacity on any pen going through airport security. I have been asked, they wanted to see the pen. It looked like, I, I tend to have metal pens, and I guess they look like something suspicious. Fair enough. Uh, and then they want to know about the pens. Oh, that's very nice. But they've never said, how much liquid is in there? So that might be a workaround if you're trying to get liquid on the plane. <laughs> number yeah. two. Number two. You may or may not know this one. So glad I got the first one. It's I Soon to be released is the 2022 version of the Diamine Invent Inkvent calendar, which contains 25 bottles of ink. Behind 25 little doors. I, which I'm looking forward to this. I know you are. One door for each day of December leading up to Christmas. Behind door number 25 will be a 30 milliliter bottle of ink. But what size bottle of ink will be behind all the other doors? Ooh, what? interesting. I have never owned an ink vent calendar. It's got to be smaller than 30. Oh, yes, it is smaller than three. All right, all right, that's narrowing it down. But I bet you it's bigger than five. I'm going to say ten. That's a good guess, but it's wrong. Darn. Because it's twelve, oh, which is very interesting. Twelve but days of Christmas. Twelve days oh, or, or something. twelve months in the year. Yeah, it's twelve. So you're going to get 24 12 milliliters, which is more than a sample. Oh. That's about four samples. Or, or have a full bottle. <laughs> and then on the 25th, you get uh, a 30 mil bottle. And this is the one. You have to get this right now. Uh -oh. Otherwise, Brian's right, not going to get one. it. <laughs> this is the one that uh, you, Brian never knows because it comes from nowhere. Uh, the Canadian online candy retailer, Candy Funhouse, has posted a job opening on LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this one. They're looking for someone to work from home. <laughs> and be their chief candy officer. The position, by the way, pays $78,000 a year, probably Canadian. <laughs> what is the main duty of the chief candy officer for the win? The chief candy officer, or CCO. That's remote. Yeah. If you owned a can, if you were a candy retailer, what would you want someone to do? Well, I would want people to eat my candy. So what would you want this chief candy officer to do? Is is it really just to eat candy? Well, something specific. To eat black licorice. No, <laughs> to taste <laughs> test the candy. Well, <laughs> it's to eat candy. Yes. We're gonna give Brian his ink. All right. We're absolutely gonna give him his ink. <laughs> and I don't um, know that that I, I might I might. I thought that was too easy. I said, oh, surely the answer is not just eating candy. Eat candy. I could probably qualify for this. That's I true. I should send something into them, see what they think. I, I think it would make a good side hustle. 
Yeah, I could do that in my sleep. Where are we going? Where are we going? Comments from last week. Comments. You weren't here last week, so these will all be new to these you. These are all brand new. Last week we talked uh, about the seven standard sailor nib sizes. Ooh. Uh, amongst other things. Um, comment number one is from Tim Chi, who says, Eric, I dig your watch band. Why, thank you. Uh, it's a Nike uh, via Apple. <laughs> you buy it through Apple, and, but it's... So it's like moisture wicking and all of that fun, sporty stuff. I too. believe it was Nike's Pride. Uh, oh. But it's probably moisture wicking as well. It's got all of those Nike. fun bells and whistles. Beth Cunningham, love your jokes and also all of the pen information. Oh, here's a Beth joke. Is a kind soul. Here's a joke my husband told me. Are you ready? Oh. We get another one. <laughs> Why do plants hate math? Why do plants hate math? Because it gives them square roots. Why, thank you, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> I am stealing that. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, she says because uh, he's a uh, husband. So uh, send some more. Send some more. Uh, Walter H. says, great episode. I'll be heading to my first ever pen show at the end of August, San Francisco. And your recent tips on testing pens and papers and nibs. Oh, my. It says that. I didn't just uh -huh. make it up. Will come in handy. Thank you for the wonderful content and cheesy jokes. First of all, San Francisco is a great first pen show. Oh, yeah. As it's a wonderful show. And my first pen show was the L.A. pen show because that's where I lived. Uh, San Francisco would be fantastic to be your first. You'll be a little overwhelmed. So take a patient's pill or something. Uh, but you'll be fine. Um, cheesy jokes. Do you have a cheesy joke? Uh, a cheesy joke? Like about cheese? I guess so. I, I could wonderful make a pun cheese. about Gouda. I, I have one, but it's not very Gouda. It's not very, very Gouda. Gouda. There you go. There and we you, go. of course, oh. heard about the explosion at the cheese factory. I have not. Yeah. The only thing left was debris. <laughs> That's not very Gouda either. Was that a Brian podcast joke from back, back Could be. When? We're going to start... Uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to accidentally start telling the jokes over again. I was worried. I was going. I was worried. I was going to repeat one. Then I started doing research and oh, realized too hard I was overthinking it. We should have kept a copy of them and then published a book. Meb Pratt says, "Thank you for the line comparison of the Pro Gear. Uh, the next expensive for me pen purchase will be a Pro Gear. Even after watching various comparisons on line size, I wasn't sure if I wanted fine, extra fine, or fine medium." That is it to call. Seeing Eric actually writing with the different nibs on what looks like quarter-inch graph paper, I now know I want the extra fine. I'm going to say, yes, you do want the extra fine. I'm also going to admit, uh, because I measured it, this is not quarter-inch graph paper because it's from Sailor. It is five-millimeter graph paper. So these squares are a little bit smaller than a quarter-inch. So I'm just going to write again. I believe I wrote... I think we're waiting for another camera here. We got the camera, got the camera. I think I wrote, um, I forget what I wrote. Sailor, extra, fine. Um, I like extra fine nibs and fine nibs because my writing is very small. Um, my natural writing. I can write larger if I have to, but it's not as pleasant. Uh, I would go with the extra fine. Uh, sometimes an extra fine has too much feedback. Sometimes it's scratchy. This has just the slightest amount of feedback, um, but it's hard to even notice. Over here, maybe, oh. for the oh. camera. Uh -huh. um, if, you, if you have small writing, you want the extra fine because Sailor knows how to make an extra fine and make it feel really nice. It's a nice writing experience. At least that's what I'm going to say until we get uh, Steph's opinion on this. She's writing as small as she possibly can. We don't want dead air, so keep talking. I'm a medium nib person, but I like this nice. I yes, like you this. are a medium nib person. But I think for an extra fine, it puts a nice amount of ink on the on the on the paper. That was exactly what I was thinking. I like the I like the flow that we get out of this, yep. and it I. Normally, normally extra fines bother me because I feel like I have to write really slow or something. But whatever, whatever normally bugs me about them, they have they have resolved. Sailor knows how to do nibs. Yeah. So I just wanted to include that 
uh, an additional writing sample knowing that this is just a, a little smaller than quarter inch graph. Just a little smaller. Uh, Mary Hodges' comment was, Eric, have you ever tried a platinum ultra extra fine? And when Ooh. I first read it, I thought it was a platinum extra fine, and I was thinking, yes, I have, but ultra extra fine, I do not believe I have. Uh, so I'm going to go hunting for one, see if we have that here. I'm not sure I've heard of ultra extra fine. Oh, you haven't? In I, platinum? I have watched a video of somebody writing on a grain of rice. Oh, well, With an ultra extra that fine. might be a little too fine for me, even, because I don't have much call to write on grains of rice. No, but if you wanted to make a smiley face inside of the A on your <laughs> sailor extra fine word there. I'm going to hunt for one, because uh, <clears throat> I, I would like to try that. I have tried uh, uh, John Modishaw's, uh needle points, which have, are really extra fine. Um, so I wonder how that might compare to this. Yeah, I wonder if they um, have a soft, ultra, extra fine. Okay. I guess, well, we'll do some research. That would be crazy. Finally, we have Macro Microbe. Macro Microbe, who has three Ooh. questions. Do all sizes of Lamy 2000 silver gold nibs have the sweet spot trait? And I have heard of this uh, sweet spot trait, but I don't think it exists. I think, and I don't have... Uh, uh, Lamy 2000 here with me, but we all know that it, it's a hooded nib. I think because you can't see the nib, you, people have a tendency not to hold it. You're, you're not holding it right, is what I would say. So if you just, if you held the pen correctly, that is the sweet spot. Uh, I think uh, the nibs get a bad rap because people have it twisted just a little one way or the other because oh. you can't see the nib. Um, but I've tried many a Lamy 2000. And I don't agree that there's a sweet spot. Uh, I agree that you have to kind of be careful of how you're holding it. Um, are there steel nibs available for the Lamy 2000? Absolutely not. I've never run across one. Uh, it is Lamy's flagship pen. Uh, that would surprise me as much as putting a, a steel nib on a vanishing point, which they do. Uh, in Japan, you can find those. I think... Probably because their school, their their kids, their school oh, yeah. pens. Oh yeah, yeah, that would make you, sense. You wouldn't send a gold nib to school, um, but the Lamy 2000. I've never heard of a steel nib for Lamy 2000. And third, but not least, last but not least, is are there any other fountain pen makers that use Macrolon? Never heard of it. Uh, probably would have because I would. Fun to say. I'd probably run across somebody who says, do you want to see all my Macrolon pen? Because that would be somebody collecting that particular material. So if you want Macrolon, get a Lamy 2000. I'm always happy when I see one sells from here because I know someone's going to be very happy. Yeah. One of perhaps even the best pen of all time. One day, one day, I'm going to get myself a Lamy 2000. Everybody you know, needs one. Everyone needs one. I have heard that rumor. I said, yeah, it's not a rumor. <laughs> um, so you're going to show us how to repair a snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you a repaired snorkel. We really should have planned that. You and I should have tried to repair a snorkel with like instructions and not knowing anything. <laughs> and then Brian could come next week and show me what we did wrong. But did you bring a different snorkel? <laughs> no, no. That's why I say we should have should have planned for that. Instead, you and I said, let's talk about our favorite papers. Yes. Um, paper time! I'll start because this one right here is one of my favorite papers. Oh, that's this funny. This is Rhodia. I like Rhodia. I especially like this particular um, ruling, I guess you'd call it. Oh, here I was, worried that we were going to choose all of the same notebooks. So you have... Uh, you have... Not just a Rhodia, but oh, the Rhodia meeting the same pad. One. <laughs> okay, meeting pad. For, yeah. for precisely the same reason. I love... I like it being compartmentalized yeah. for different thoughts. And what a lovely writing experience. Rhodia is a very nice writing experience. Yes, yes. The paper is awesome. That would hold true for any ruling or any sized Rhodia notebook. Right, it doesn't have to. I just happen to like this particular yeah, layout. The, the meeting book goes on my list of things I wish I had known about when I was in school. Would have helped, yeah. Oh, I, love, I love that there's a column. I mean, it's kind of sorted out. You know, for a meeting where, you know, here's 
how yeah, I'm going to describe the, the situation, the and then here's this column of what I'm going to do about it. it right. No reminds and me to be pragmatic, I guess. And so but, we both agree on this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. I I did not realize we were going to start out. I, I did not know we were going to agree in on lockstep anything. here. <laughs> um, as far as notebooks, because I see you have a notebook. Uh, there is a particular notebook that I enjoy, and it's a Leuchtturm. In fact, the last notebook I purchased just a week ago oh. was a Leuchtturm. Um, and I buy the Leuchtturm because I like the hardcover on a Leuchtturm. I have an orange one and the tester here. Uh. It, I hope this is a Leuchtturm. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the feel of the paper. I would prefer white paper. I'll just say that out loud right away. I can deal with paper that is not white, but if I have a choice, if this, if a Leuchtturm came in choice of white or cream paper, I would go with the white paper. Interesting. And the only reason I like white paper is because I can, I feel I can see the color of the ink better. That is fair. That is fair. But that might just be my eyes because I don't think you have that problem. Well, I think uh, if I was going to pick a notebook for. Uh, that I was designating as an ink journal, I would absolutely make sure that oh, I was yes. picking the yeah. whitest of white papers that yeah, I could possibly If it's going to be find. an ink journal, to, mm -hmm. then it would have to be white. But when I'm actually just picking a notebook that I'm going to doodle around in or take notes in, I don't, I don't have a strong preference okay. for white versus ivory, but I, I like the way that ivory notebook paper makes my inks look. It kind of will warm up. Any tone that I've gotten, I like those cozy, warm tones. So. Oh, okay. Well, the reason I like uh, uh, Leuchtturm is for their layout, because they give you a, a, an index, yeah. uh, a table of contents. I like that those front. exist for people that are organized. I Well, you don't have to really fill that in until you start writing. Yeah. Uh, you start writing and all the pages are numbered, so wherever you started a new subject, you can go back. It's a really nice layout. For people that choose subjects, I start writing and then I find out what my subject is halfway through. Okay. okay. But but I have I have one of these in my lineup too. This is my purse notebook. It's my actual purse notebook. I Your pulled it out of my purse. purse notebook. You can tell because there are receipts stuck in it all over the place. And that's the one that goes with you, wherever. Yeah, this is oh, the one okay. I bust out when I need to take notes because somebody's giving me too much information. It's the one that I write so grocery you, lists in. You walk around with an A6 size. Mm-hmm. What do you think about uh, the Hobonichi oh. A6 size? Because that's... Just a little bigger than my Leuchtturm. Oh, yeah. Interesting. It's arguably space. paper that I prefer. It's, oh. it's arguably better paper. Uh, well, only because it's Tomoe River paper. I was going to say, I mean, this is the granddaddy of all papers. I have, there's some things I don't care for about it. it. It takes a while for the ink to dry. That is true. So in a yeah. notebook... Is a purse pen or as a, a purse? As a purse notebook? one, I would want to close it right away. Yeah, yeah, that without is. Without smudging. So that might not be the best choice for a purse. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do like uh, Tomoe River paper. I think you have some sheets over there. Yeah, yeah, I brought Because you're going to say you like Tomoe River paper as well. Yes, this is, oh, just, is this blank? Uh, da, da, da. I made sure it was white because this I've is... I've never seen it come in loose sheets that isn't blank. So ah, uh, perfect. this would be a blank, white, and it also comes in uh, ivory or cream, whatever they call it. But the white is the one I like. I, yes. I like, which is interesting because Hobonichi's themselves, my cousin, is a, a creamy color. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not the, the white white. Uh, when I'm, is for instance, writing a letter, uh, they might call it ivory. Mm -hmm. When I'm writing a letter, I, I prefer white paper, and so I can use the, to the loose sheets of the Tomoe River on white. Um, yeah, this would be a phenomenal ink journal. Just, I mean. Yeah, that. You could just take a sheet and then tape it to the wall. Oh, I've got a whole new idea for handprints. Ooh. <laughs> for handprints. You have handprints on uh, all over your wall? Uh, why not? Well, I in red ink, Halloween's coming up. I was gonna say, if you if you if you're running through the spectrum of reds, people might have some concerns, but you just have to throw some blues and purples in there. Keep it happy. Keep, Keep it happy. Light. Keep it happy. So mm -hmm. this is some of my favorite paper. Yes. Yes. Um, and I I don't believe I've ever purchased a notebook with uh, Tomoe River paper in it that wasn't a Hobonichi, uh, like a Techo or a Cousins. I, I do not own either one of these. And these are Hobonichis, but they're not dated. They're just graph 
notebooks. Um, but if you like the Hobonichi paper, here's some more. Yes. And it's not dated, so you can use it forever, apparently. Mm -hmm. I wonder um, if you could just tuck it into one of those little notebook cover thingies that they've got. I also uh, brought some of this. Ooh, we really. Oh, is, if you got one of we these, we are twinsies. This is this is again my my actual notebook. That this is the tester, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, I artwork. like this. Uh, to me, it's white, but it isn't as white as as this. Yeah, yeah. Because there are shades of white, I find. Oh yeah. <laughs> But here we again. Oh, I got, I've got yours here. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, we are twinsies um, over here. This is the perfect notebook in my opinion. The perfect size. This is what a B four. Tell us all about it. Yes, yeah, oh. this is the B five. This is the B five as well. And this is their number one ninety four. I like that. It, it just for a practical notebook that I have on my desk to write things down and function as an Do extension of my short term memory. Do you find that you use these column, these these areas? My brain uses them just okay. because they're there and, and... It's not much, it's just, they're, it's already ruled. This one and this one are just a little darker, so it, it gives you three areas to work with, and I enjoy that. Yeah, I, it's very easy to ignore them if you are just writing your manifesto out page after page after page, or if you have, you know, if you need a section to practice drawing stick figure hedgehogs, that's... <laughs> that's perfect for that. That perfect is the use. stick figure hedgehog section mm -hmm. right there. And I like, um, I mean, we used to have, you know, the eight and a half by 11. It's a little bit smaller than that, which means it's very easy to tuck into a smaller backpack or something. Yeah. Uh, this I like to keep on my desk because it is a uh, nice paper and has those compartments. Uh, it usually goes underneath my rodeo, just like that. And we agree on so many of these. Yeah, yeah. I did not expect... Th I, 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 oh, go ahead. I expected more of a fight, but no. We, we might get there yet. Maybe. What's that notebook you have? Oh, this one? This notebook has been calling my name for such a long time. Oh. We're going to carry the hedgehog theme through. Okay. Oh, I just, I cannot it's even. It's very pretty. I cannot even with these little guys. And they've got they've little got silver little, spikes. Little shiny things. Ooh. Yeah. There are just, there are so many. Who these, makes this? So from the Peter Popper Press, oh, okay. we've Peter got Popper. a collection of thank you cards and note cards from them. There are a collection of these notebooks. They're not all hedgehogs. Sometimes there are cats. I Sometimes. bought the llama. Oh, you got the llama? The llama. Uh, it was a, a card. I think it was oh, yeah, blank yeah, inside. Yeah. Lucas, the, the lucky llama. I think, I think I have received a llama card now that you mention it. And... They're just so cute. So, do you? Oh, you haven't purchased this yet. You you said you're going to. Yeah, I'm not even putting it back in the plastic. It's coming have, home. Do with you me. own one? Not yet. So you don't know what the paper's like. I I've played with the paper a little bit. It okay. is. It. I mean, it's not Chomoe River, but it's not. Uh, it's just you know your solid ivory paper. It's pretty. It's pretty absorbent. I would say more. I'm more on the absorbent side, so it's. If you're going to use fountain pens on it, they're going to dry more quickly, but it won't necessarily show off all of the different like shading properties that the ink has. But uh, but you like this for the cover. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you buy I a like, notebook just because of the cover. Sometimes, sometimes the paper doesn't even matter. No, and uh, you and one of your top five inks, I forget which color and which ink, you found an ink that would not bleed even on a paper towel. Yes, yes. Any sailor ink would so, absolutely. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't even. I don't think that this is and going to I've give me problems with feathering. It doesn't look like it's going to be a feathering. Paper, no, but. no. I'll. We'll that's come, a we'll, very nice notebook. Yeah, the cover. I didn't even realize their spikes were shiny until I until I took it that's out. That's something you can just keep on your desk, and it'll make you smile. Precisely. Precisely. I might just hang it on my wall. Oh, and and yeah. Somehow we have to get a light. To dance off it a little bit so that the, the shiny spikies show themselves. Are you the place. sending notes to people? Uh, if only. No, this is. Uh, I, should I? Should I oh, bring I, them out? It looks out? like we're both writing. Yeah. These look like correspondence. Yeah, things. we're 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 gonna be pen pals here. Maybe one day. 
I'm a bad pen pal. She I always forget that, to write back. I write to her. She doesn't write back. I, I just talk to you in person, and then I have nothing else to write about. So if I'm going to write a letter, this is one of my go-to choices. It's Triomphe by Claire Fontaine. Ooh, I like this one. I like too. this one because it has lines. It keeps me where I need to be. And they have envelopes to match. The uh, official paper of hot stuff. This was the official paper of hot mm -hmm. stuff back when we did hot stuff. Um, nice. Some people say too smooth. Oh. Some people, I've heard them say, oh, I could slide right off of it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, too smooth. Too smooth for paper. Um, but what I, I like having a set so that I know what envelope I'm going to use when I am finished with this letter. And ah. so that appeals to me. Uh, that along with, uh, this is, and I'm not even sure we have any. It's very difficult for us to keep this in stock. This is yeah, we have it for air like a mail. Week. Yeah, and then it it's goes, gone again. It's gone again, probably because of me. <laughs> um, it's, it's really a, what I call onion paper. It, it's very, Made with very genuine thin. onion? Well, maybe. I, mean, mm -hmm. I don't know what to make it with. Not white, white, but fun to write on. And they Ooh. give you the guide thing. So uh, I don't have a problem of... That's how people write straight lines. Yeah, that, well, that's how I do it. And they, oh. they have the matching envelopes as well. So when I can find paper with matching envelopes, I'm already a fan. Uh, because I want to know... It's one thing to write a letter. It's, another, it's a whole other project to find an envelope, envelope put it in the envelope. Yeah. You need to remember how to address an envelope. So Let's difficult. Google it real quick. So you have something here. I think they have envelopes. Yes, yes, they do. They come with matching envelopes. I'll put them under the camera so we can... Yes, I don't know what... Um, this is cute. Oh. What is this neighborhood? Sorry. Neighborhood cats? Neighborhood cats. I, I, I... Oh, I cannot even stare at them for too long. They they hurt me. Oh, Midori, why do you do this to me? I, I swear, uh, Midori is in uh, cahoots with my dentist in order to create a series of teeth grindingly, <laughs> fist clenchingly adorable stationery. Oh, see, you could write me a, a note on this. There's not much of a commitment here. That's true. I, I own this, this stationery, and that's exactly why I got it. So I could say, Dear Eric, Eric I woke up again throw, today. Throw it in the mail. And <laughs> Nothing new has happened. Signed, Steph. And uh, somewhat matching envelopes that are nice and heavy. Oh, yes. They They're, feel good. They are very much matching. They coordinate. These are really cute, and uh, yeah, I kind of like this because if you of look the at them for too space. long, you will black uh, out, and when you to. wake up, they will be. So purchased. you own these? Yes. You have written on them. Uh, yes. Uh, not to me, but you have written on them. I uh, have. What's how's the paper? The paper is Midori. Um, oh, so if you are familiar so with Midori's notebooks and their, um, I think I think it's the regular stuff, not the cotton. So yeah, that looks feel like got, regular stuff. Yeah, it's got some tooth to it, but it is not uh, it's not absorbent particularly. So it'll show off just a, a little bit of shading, a little bit of sheen, uh, and and it's just feels really nice to write with. Yeah, neither one of us brought any Midori paper except for this. I was about to grab one, and then any, I realized that I'd gotten the Midori covered because I any I really Midori like their product too. would be good. Oh, and look at these guys. What are those? Stickers? They're little stickers that you use to close and seal your notebook. Oh, your notebook. Uh, your your letter. I, I forgot how words work because these bunnies <laughs> these are, too, are cute. too cute. These are the ones that really just ruin me. I can't look at them for too long because they're just Oh, too I see. Cute. So these come with envelopes and paper. And they have a little bunny, little bunny on, on the paper. paper. Again, not a huge commitment. No, no. Uh, so you could write to me on one of these. It's our stuff size notebook. And then you put it in the envelope, nope. and you seal the envelope with a bunny. Yes. Okay, I can understand the appeal. Mm-hmm. I can understand the appeal. Can you imagine sending somebody an Easter card with these? <laughs> I'm not positive that this would make it through the mail. No. It's kind you, of fuzzy. Yeah, you might You might actually just uh, cut one of cut those it off. and include it in. Yeah, yeah. that way. It's a, a note with a gift. A note with a gift. Or just keep them for myself. And who makes these? These are Midori too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the paper's good. Yes, yes, the paper's great, and the, the designs are life-endingly cute. I just cannot even. Cannot even. I Enjoy. cannot even. I have a, one last one in my pile. Are you done with yours? Yes. 
um, that may not may or may not surprise you because I think you probably already know about this one. It's the notebook that I use every single day. Do I know what notebook you use every single day? It's a Moleskine. <laughs> a moleskin. Oh, um, I did not know you used that notebook every it's, single it's, day. Uh, it's not very fountain pen friendly paper moleskin uh, which is anderson pens does not carry this uh it's not very popular in the fountain pen community however what i have found is that they make um a larger version it's, i think they call it extended it's got more pages like 400 pages oh. like so it's thicker and because it is not the best paper in the world uh, I have no problem using it. Oh, I see. Uh, sometimes, I, see. I said two weeks ago, I got a new um, uh, Leuchtturm. Mm -hmm. I haven't used it yet because oh. I have to know why I'm going to use it. And what this one, I get a new one every every January first. I just go to Barnes and Noble and get a new one, and I write January first on top, and I start taking notes. And this is my daily to do. Every day, I just write the date at the top and what I have to get done that day, and I check it off as I go. And I only use the right side because I like writing on the right side of a notebook. By the time, by, when June is over, I'm very near the end of it, and I just flip it over, and now I'm going this direction. So I'm oh, interesting. I'm, I'm on the right side again, but That's I'm upside down. Very efficient of you. And then at the end of the year, I have the whole year. Not that I ever would go back and look. Once in a while, you do. When did I make that phone call? Because I know I took notes. And it was sometime yeah, in September, yeah. so I can go back and look and see the exact date. Um, but I use this and appreciate it specifically because it is not what I would say is hugely fountain pen friendly. It's, it's not, just, not fancy I enough to induce anxiety. Yes, no anxiety at all. I just use it and it's every day and it keeps my whole a record of everything that I got done in a year is in one place. Oh. And so organization but Look this at that. is a thicker book uh, and you sometimes you need one usually you need one page a day sometimes you need two because you make a phone call and you take a lot of notes and on weekends you don't use any so uh, you get through almost to the end by the end of june and flip it over and you get almost to the end so it fits for me it works perfectly so there and you it's, are and it has circumvented your your notebook problem which yes because it has a purpose mm -hmm. and i don't I, I, I will scribble in this one. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, it has, it's to be used. And so I have no qualms about using it. See, I have no qualms about using any notebook. Ah, yeah, see, well, I have that could, problem. I have that problem. I could, they could, you could hand me a notebook where each page had been personally blessed by the Pope, and I'd write, hello, world. Hello, world. <laughs> Is there any paper you don't like? Is there any paper that I don't like? Well, I can say that my time in the fountain pen community has completely ruined the regular, like, 99-cent notebooks that you can, you, you can just pick up that yeah, we used to grab for school. Yeah, you have to be careful what you're using. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I don't even like those for regular pencils anymore. I, I have become too fancy. Too fancy? You're fancy mm -hmm. now. Fancy now. Uh, thinking uh, about everything that Anderson Pen sells, I, I don't believe I've ever tried a paper blanks notebook. The, oh. the covers are gorgeous, but I've never mm -hmm. tried one myself, so I don't know about the paper. I think those make phenomenal gifts. They are, they are, I think, I think, I mean, if you put a fountain pen in them, they will, they will write, but they're not designed for fountain pens at all. So if you are a person that really likes notebooks and pens and you have a friend that's always like, wow, you have the coolest notebooks. I want a notebook from you for my birthday. Yeah, not everybody uses fountain pens. Yeah, I, even I do not always use fountain pens for everything. Everybody needs a ballpoint. Mm -hmm. I have a ballpoint. Yeah, I think most of most of this notebook is not fountain pens. I wanted I wanted to get something that was fountain pen friendly in case you know you're Just sitting around and Just somebody's like, "Look at my new pen," and I'm like, "Hey." Most of the time, I prefer to write with a fountain pen, but I have other writing instruments. I have a specific job to do. I will draw with a pencil, uh, mm -hmm. and sometimes if I have to. S Sometimes you need a ballpoint to sign on shiny paper. Yeah, yeah, there are sometimes when you just need a ballpoint. I don't think you'll be back next week. I think Brian will be back next week, and I think we're going to do the how to repair a Schaefer mm -hmm. snorkel. Is it because uh, so we don't have any eggs, Benedicts? 
No, we need Brian for the eggs benedict yeah. too. Well, actually, it might be you and Brian. Uh, who knows? Oh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? If it's me and Brian, we're definitely having eggs benedict. Eggs benedict. <laughs> um, <clears throat> favorite papers? You said you had another joke. Oh yeah. Go for it. Now's the time. All right. All right. <clears throat> what kind of bagel can fly? What kind of bagel can fly? A plain bagel. Oh no. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> so bad I broke Eric. So I have another joke for that, but oh. I can't remember it. Um, so I'll just uh, use the one I have here, which is terribly bad. Which popular action figure has a farm? I don't know. G.I. G.I. Joe. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Oh, McDonald's, meals. McDonald's Happy Meals, kids' toys. G-I-G-I-G-I-G-I. I'm glad I just G-I-G-I-G-I. let you give me the answer. Um, thank you very much for uh, filling in uh, for Brian. Oh, always a pleasure. Uh, he was not going to have time for any of this. I never turned down an invite to brunch, so this is a, <laughs> a joy. Maybe you will next time because there were no eggs Benedict. I, oh, you, the day is young. I, yeah, I may, I may have to leave a four-star Yelp review. <laughs> four-star. <laughs> So uh, we'll see you next week, probably with Brian and with some... What am I forgetting here? Justin, am I forgetting anything? Okay, okay, good. Um, uh, Snorkel, Schaefer Snorkel Pen Repair. Uh, See you next time. Bye. Bye.